Okay, so I'll quickly create uh, the uh, the other builders and factories in the rest of the classes that exist. So, for example, this is the builder for uh, engine, right? Uh, so, fun. This is my uh, builder for that. I will have uh, you know private late init var uh, engine type, and I will have private late init var transmission. Okay, uh, so I will do here of course this dot uh, transmission equal to uh, sorry this dot engine type equal to engine type, and then return this. And here I will do this dot transmission uh, equal to transmission, and then uh, return this. And then we will have a build function uh, okay so the build function will return an engine of course right and uh, here we will do return a new engine with uh, the this dot engine type and uh, this dot transmission right so there we go so that's my engine builder out there and then we'll need a wheelbase builder so with wheelbase builder you know uh, we can do things like uh, yeah uh, uh, so the engine also i think will set the constructor to private yeah like we have done uh, wheelbase also will set uh, you know private constructor so you know we can only do things inside the builder so inside builder we will have a uh, set size fun set size size would be you know uh, uh, wheelbase dot size and uh, it will return a builder so right and uh, i will do uh, this dot so i'll get to the this dot power part so uh, the set size uh, set chassis so for set chassis uh, we can uh, yeah uh, we can do like here uh, we can put a chassis and then uh, finally it will have what do we have we have wheel factory so we can have set uh, a wheel factory and we will have a wheel factory here right uh, so yeah and uh, finally uh, fun uh, Spare wheel, so we'll do like spare wheel boolean and that will also uh, return a builder. And uh, yeah, so uh, we'll do here uh, private late init for uh, size, uh, private late init for uh, chassis, uh, private late init for uh, wheel factory and uh, private data for uh, set uh, for spare wheel okay and then we will uh, do all of these things so uh, on boolean late and it is not allowed so we can just do uh, like a default spare wheel is by default false uh, okay so we can remove defaults from here then as a result of that uh, because it's there in my builder and uh, now we can do like you know uh, this dot uh, size equal to size uh, here this dot chassis equal to chassis here this dot uh, wheel factory equal to wheel factory and then uh, this dot spare wheel uh, the spare wheel part okay and then we'll do uh, fun build here build will return a wheel base and uh, then we can have like you know uh, return a wheelbase object and we will pass this dot size this dot chassis this uh, this dot seat factory and then this dot spare wheel okay so now we are doing wheelbase using a builder as well uh, engine using a builder as well uh, okay uh, we uh, need to clean up a few pieces of the code base actually as well uh, so in fact uh, the factory pattern what we will do is uh, we will uh, make some changes here so say we have the wheel okay 
so what we can do is uh, we can create a factory and then uh, we can uh, have a create wheels function instead and pass a number here okay so okay so in that case uh, we can return a uh, list of wheels so what i'm doing here is a very interesting concept uh, in our project there would be no way to construct a single wheel anymore uh, similarly with seeds and why so because you know uh, this is very important that your uh, way of programming the way of structuring things should ensure that if a certain object can only exist as a list okay so don't create a way to construct a single item of that object at all right so uh, what we want to do is a wheel a singular wheel can never exist it will always exist as an array of certain number of wheels so we can do fun create wheels with num wheels and it will return a list of wheels so here we will do is uh, generate sequence uh, of wheel uh, we will take uh, the num wheels and a dot to list okay so we'll do the generator here okay since we do the generation here uh, what we can do is uh, uh, we need wheels in a wheelbase so inside a wheelbase what we'll do is instead of having uh, num wheels this number here uh, we'll have uh, you know uh, the wheels itself uh, there okay and when we are constructing it we will do this dot wheel factory dot uh, create wheels and we will pass the number of wheels here so how many wheels uh, will we do we'll do uh, you know here for plus uh, if spare if uh, this dot spare wheel then one else zero okay so we are going to pass the you know the size the chassis and then we will create the wheels and uh, pass it here okay uh, so yeah i think uh, that's how uh, we will do this and uh, in fact then we don't need the spare wheel argument in my uh, you know wheel base anymore we can remove that from here because that was only needed to define the number of wheels so yeah uh, there's the new way so my wheel base directly takes wheels instead of it uh, taking any uh, you know uh, number of spare wheels and all that stuff and uh, yeah so uh, and it's built using a builder and i cannot create a single wheel anymore i can only create multiple wheels uh, together now okay uh, similarly like uh, you know uh, for um, seats we can do same thing so seat uh, we create a seat factory with the upholstery and then uh, we can create create seats and then uh, num seats and then num seats will do uh, you know Mm, uh, an integer and then uh, you know we'll return uh, like a list of seats from here and we'll return generate sequence uh, seed dot upholstery dot uh, k take the number of seats and then dot to list here okay so now again we have no way to create a singular seat we can only create multiple seats together uh, okay and then uh, when we are creating seats that's inside our chassis so here what we'll do is we'll uh, create this variable seats uh, up there okay we will don't need a seat factory anymore uh, we'll remove this generate sequence part stuff here and this val num seats stuff what we can do is uh, we can simply take this and we can write it here inside the build so So number of seats uh, is equal to when uh, you know uh, this dot chassis type is equal to hatchback and so on so on so so then we will return a chassis where this dot chassis type and then uh, this dot seat factory dot create seats as many number of seats as we need okay so now you can see the chassis uh, takes type and seats directly it does not take a seat factory the seat factory is taken by the builder instead and the builder takes the seat factory and creates the number of seats uh, that it needs okay so that's my seat and my chassis uh, transmission should also have like a you know factory pattern here although we are just constructing a transmission directly we are doing it inside the engine builder technically 
okay so uh, yeah i think uh, these are the changes that we have done let's see what are the changes that we need to do on the cli part of it to make sure that this works okay